Problem 4. Two conductors having net charges of plus and minus 25 microcoulombs have a potential difference of 25 volts between them. Determine the capacitance of the system. Okay. So let's find out what this capacitance thing is. Capacitance. All right. Capacitance is defined as capacitance of a, ca of a capacitor is charge over voltage. Got it. No, oh, that's easy. So, in this case, we have, I'm going to draw a picture of this guy real quick. It's not necessarily a parallel plate capacitor, but I'm going to pretend it is. Um, because it's just easier for me to visualize that way. There we go. Got our little capacitor. Oh, pump. Perfect. Got some pluses, got some minuses, and each of these, the pluses are 25 microcoulombs, the negatives are mi minus 25 uh, microcoulombs, and therefore, capacitance measured in farads, in this case will be, oh, this is going to be easy, uh, Q over V which equals 25 over 25, and I'm going to do a micro for 10 to negative 6. Nope. I'm going to just write it. It's 10 time, times 10 to negative 6. And this will then be measured in farads. These cancel, and we get 1 times 10 to negative 6. All right. So first question, kind of a softball. But think, ah, that looks really terrible. Um, but the key concept here, or key things to uh, kind of understand, is capacitance is represented by C for capacitance, and it's measured in farads. Q, which, mem which uh, represents charge, is measured in coulombs, which is a C. Um, v, which is volts, joules per coulomb, V. So, Make sure when you're writing things out, sometimes I use units, sometimes I use uh, the name of the unit. So when you're doing that, make sure you are careful which one, what actually means what. What's a coulomb and what's a capacitance. So um, a capacitance is then used just as this relation between for a capacitor. And a capacitor is just two conductors that have charges that are not touching. Um, you have, generally have parallel plate capacitors. We can have all sorts of capacitors. Round capacitors, square capacitors, whatever. Cylindrical. But parallel plate capacitors are just convenient for understanding. So I, I tend to favor those. OK. What is the potential difference between the two conductors if the charges on each is inc are increased to 625 micro, microcoulombs? And OK. Ah. So now, what they said is, so capacitance is specific to a capacitor. So now we have the same capacitor. We rearrange this equation, and we now have voltage equals Q over C. So when we write this out, we get 625. And when you do this, you have the same charge on both both of them, and you only use the charge on one of them. You don't don't try to double it. Don't be like um, Gauss's law or Q enclosed. Um, mm, one of those is supposed to be negative. That's probably supposed to be negative. Um, six hundred twenty-five times ten to the negative six. And I'm going to write coulombs here, just to show how easily this becomes confusing. And one times ten to the negative six uh, farads. So it's very easy to see this C and see that C and think that they're the same. They are not. Cancel, cancel. These then become volts. And we have 625 volts. Bam. As easy as that. 625 volts. There we go. And the idea here is you're supposed to be able to look at this and be like, all right. So if we have a drastically more charges, we're going to have drastically 
greater voltage. And one way to make that, think that makes sense is voltage is the measure of energy, potential energy, um, electric potential, potential energy difference. So the energy it would take to move a charge from one side to the other. So if we have an electron, let's say a little electron right there, oh, that's an electron, and we move it from there to there. If we have a lot more charges over here, and a lot more charges, ooh, sorry, wrong direction. I'm going to move a volt, uh, electron in the other direction, because that would be hard. That would be easy. All right. So there are a bunch of electrons over here. We just don't draw them out because they're all canceled out by positives. So we take an electron from this side and move it over to this side. It's going to be hard because the electron is drawn to all these positive charges, and the electron is repelled by all these excess electrons over here, the negative charges. So if we have a lot more charges on each plate, then it's going to be that much more difficult to do it. It's going to take that much more energy to move an electron, and therefore we're going to have to have that much more potential, i.e., joules per coulomb. All right? Seem to make sense? All right? And that is your introduction to capacitors. Moving on to number number five. Yes.